Real quick, I want to tell you the difference between when you ask God and when you ask the universe. So what's the difference? So when you ask God, like I said, oftentimes we end up finding that God didn't answer our prayers. We start thinking that God, God is not there. He's not a genie. You found this lamp, you rubbed it, and genie came. You gotta do whatever you want to. It's not about God. And the universe tend to answer your so-called prayers or thoughts r faster. So you think that's how it works. This book is like sort of like a genie. It does not tell you to change yourself. It does not expose your sins. It just tells you, okay, I'm going to give it to you. Just keep doing what you do. And I'm going to get the final prize. After life, I'm going to get your soul, basically. There are so many situations when God answered prayers so fast, and it happened to me too, and I have those examples. But in most cases, God tests us, and He knows better what we need and when we need it. Sometimes we think we need it right now, but we need it later. We are not ready to, to get it. I used to be a fan of this book. I loved it. And I first came across this book in 2013. It was a New Year Eve. Uh, December 31st, 10 p.m. I was in my friend's country house. We were celebrating New Year, the New Year. And I went upstairs and I came across this book. So I opened it and I started reading it. I was like, oh, this book speaks to me. I, I just couldn't put it aside. I, I read the whole the whole piece overnight. I was so into it. I was like, yeah, that's that's finally I know how it works. My financial situation at that time was not good at all, and I of course I wanted to change it. <clears throat> and all this book tells you is you have to think about what you want to get. So I stay focused on thinking about what what I wanted to get. And to be honest with you, things started to change. I started to get what I wanted to get. And basically the source, what this book tells you, the source of everything is the universe. But that's the trick. The universe is God's creation. The universe by itself cannot give you anything because God created the universe. Before I started to record this video today, I was going through my Instagram feed and I followed some hashtags. And I came across this the very verse that I'm going to read now and I was like wow that's how God that's how God works and it was just another sign for me this is from James chapter 4 verse 2 and 3 you do not you do not have because you do not ask God when you ask you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasures so what does it say basically? It's, it's kind of confusing because God, it, first it says you do not have because you do not ask God. But then it's, it, it follows up and says when you ask you do not receive. So it's like why? I don't, yeah, we don't have because we do not ask. But then we just, we don't have it because, because we ask with wrong motives. So how we understand what is wrong and what is right? There is no way. Because God operates on His will. And we are nowhere near to understand His will. We can only pray, saying, God, if it is Your will, please make it happen. But how do we pray? We say, God, I want it. I need it. I need You to give it to me. And of course, we don't see the whole picture. We don't see what God wants for us. When your kid comes to you and say, Dad, I want it, but you know that it's not good for him. You say, no, I'm not going to give it to you. He said, Dad, I want these candies, and you will tell him, no, too much sweets is bad for your teeth. You're not going to give it to him. So the same thing with God. We believe in, in, in astrology, we believe in magic, we believe in, in, in planets, we believe in anything else, because... Those things are very convenient for us, us because we do not have changed our lifestyles. They do not, they do not care about how you live, but God does care about how we live, like any 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 parent does. If your if your father, if your mother, 
do not care about you, something is wrong. The same with God. God sees the whole picture. He's understanding beyond what we can think. We just cannot comprehend. It's unfathomable for us. So when we ask, we do not receive it. It's because we, we ask for something that we do not need. We ask those things just to please ourselves, to spend it on our pleasures. And that's, that's why He doesn't give it to us. This life is not about pleasing ourselves. ourselves. It's about pleasing God. It's about getting ready for our eternal life, for our, our real life. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. It's from Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. So it basically says, do not worry about anything. God already knows what you need. But again, our corrupt mind, our corrupt mind thinks that, okay, I, I want this, and I gotta ask God. And God is like a genie from the bar, from the lamp, from the bottle, whatever. He lives. He gotta give it to me. God does not work this way, and that's our problem. That's our problem. We refuse to understand it because we want it. We want it. We are so obsessed with materialistic things. We want it. It is very important to ask with thanksgiving. And again, it says, the peace of God which transcends all understanding. Again, we don't know how He works. He works on His own will. We are too small to understand His mind. We're never going to understand it. Like your toddler, he's not going to understand why you tell him not to put things in his mouth. He's still going to put things in his mouth. Because he does not understand, he is too small to understand it. And we are way smaller than a toddler to his parent. And we are smaller to God I mean, in comparison. And another one. And receive from him anything we ask because we keep his commands and do what pleases him. And, and this is his command. To believe in the name of his son Jesus Christ and to love one another as he commanded us. Let me break it down for you real quick. When we ask, again, we ask him like a genie. But we're supposed to have relationship with God. We're supposed to have relationship with our Heavenly Father. And it means that we also got to do something. We're just like, not like, oh, God, give me that. Oh, God, give me that. Get it. It's not going to work this way. We got to follow his commands. And... At the same time, if you follow his commands, do not expect, okay, I follow his commands, then he got to give me this. Again, if it's not his will, he's not going to give you that, even if you follow his commands. It's, it's not about, you know, just following commandments and think, okay, God, I'm following your commandments and I'm expecting what I want. God knows what you want and he will give it to you if, it's, if that's for your good. If that's not for your good, you're not going to receive it if you, even if you follow his commandments. Somebody told me like, oh, you live in, in, in this age and you still believe in God? Yes, I do. Yes, I do.